Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the procedural desert scene. What you see right now is one of the results that I got from this tool. So we have this large world, this large desert, and we will mainly focus here on creating this desert, scattering around props, and so on to make this look nice. Now here is then also a other example. So I played around with some parameters and I got another result. So if I want to, I can also just go here and press play. And then you will also immediately notice that this is a quite large world. And some of the features that we will further use are PGG. Here at the site we have our new Houdini engine open. And we also have now a special menu for PGG assets. So it will by default recognize a PGG uh, tool and it will open this menu for you. So we can here press cook outputs and then it will load here our desert terrain. There's a, another demo of that so we can see that we are using PGG to create this network and the tiles are loading in. So as you can see here, we have multiple tiles that are working together to create this landscape. So PGG generated these tiles and then we want to use the world composition from Unreal to make everything come together. So here we also have this special menu from world composition where it gives us a top-down view of our world. So we can also see here that we have multiple tiles. And when I, for example, go here on the side again, and when I press play, you will see that not everything is loaded. So the, get, so the areas that are grayed out are unloaded. So world composition helps us to manage our worlds, and also by default, it will add some streaming distances. So in this case, I added uh, 25,000 as my streaming distance. So this is based on the player position. So I can now walk around. So I will go faster here. And then you will see that parts of my terrain will be loading and unloading based on the player position here. So that this comes all from world composition. So Houdini will work nicely with PGG generating the world and Unreal will then here have this menu to manage that generated world. Also here in my project you can see that the output of my Houdini tool will be different maps here. So every single tile that I have will be a scene here. This is also here why I have the level menu so we can see all these maps. Now further let's go to Houdini and take a look there. So in Houdini itself, we are going to start with making a base terrain like this. So the first part will be creating the base terrain. I will further then add some masks. So the masks are now visualized with some uh, colors here. So we can have some variation for a material in Unreal. Now furthermore, we're also going to create a digital asset that is cutting out parts of the terrain and will also scatter around these models. And this is already the result as you can see. So we are going to deform parts of the terrain to blend in with the cliffs and rocks. And the other points here that are scattered are then for like foliage, other rocks and other placement of props. So these two HDAs will be the main part of my system. And then I will bring this into a PDG network. So now here I have my PDG network. And as I mentioned, we are going to load in our uh, digital assets from creating the base terrain. And then we will also use that asset that will split and scatter around props. So here you can see the different number of tiles that we will generate. And this is the base setup then for the PG system. So it's quite small and it will be very powerful combining this with an Unreal Engine. Here again, we will bring our tool and we can then use the PG menu here to then cook our final result that we had in Houdini and have this world generated in Unreal Engine. That was it for the overview and I hope you will be start watching these videos soon. Thank you for watching.